Hi, my name is Tunde. I'm here with my buddy Paul. We're Lighthouse family. And here's the story of Lifted. We made the demo of Ocean Drive in, in March 93. We worked with this guy Martin Brammer, who used to be in the Kane Gang, and this guy Tim Kellett, who used to play trumpet for Sibley Red. And we started working on some tunes with, with Tim. We thought, these sound fantastic. We just really kind of came together quite quickly, and everybody in the studio was like, this is amazing. And the record company said, I want you to come down to London and see, um, to see Lucian and talk about it, you know? So we came down to see him, and. Lucian picked the cassette up with the tracks on it and he threw it on the table and he said, uh, this is crap. I said, Lucian, if everyone's, well, it's, everyone seems to love it, you know? He said, yeah, well, if I had a pound for everyone who told me their mates love it. He said, if you want to make a record for your mates, you don't need me. Just stick it on a cassette and give it to them yourself. And that was it. <laughs> that was the meeting. <laughs> After about three or four days of swearing, I kind of sat down and thought, what if he's right? Well, if Lucian's right, and I kind of thought we've got to raise our game here, and that is when we started working on Lifted. But it was almost like we're, our backs were against the wall when we were doing it. And I suppose, in a way, that idea, that Lifted idea, was about being kind of... Pulling ourselves out. Pulling ourselves out of it, yeah. It was about pulling ourselves out of it. We'd have lots of discussions, talking about Lifted, for instance, lots of discussions about just life, how to live it, what we want out of life as students just coming out of, uh, you know, graduating from college. And a lot of those discussions, some of them will revolve around, you know, spiritual issues of love and life and how to live it. And we just found that we had a natural knack of doing certain things. So sort of elements of sort of feeling your way around in the dark a bit in those early days. Because there wasn't a particular plan you know you just like we said before you do stuff for yourself to make yourself feel good but in a way you're still working a bit in the dark feeling yourself uh, feeling around to kind of find the way Tunde had been singing this beautiful melody on the verse and I just thought I can feel something here and I went out the studio and I walked down to the quayside in Newcastle and it was it had been snowing and it was really really deep snow it was January and I just went to sit on a bench and I wrote the first verse. I really love to be alone without all the ache and pain and the April showers. Uh, but it ain't long before I long for you, like a ray of hope coming through the blue. I really love to be alone without all the ache and pain and the April showers. But it ain't long before I long for you, like a ray of hope coming through the blue. That was kind of channeling a breakup, really. That was a that was a breakup that was still a little bit sore. The second verse was later. I mean, the second verse that it's undisturbable, the peace we found in a bright blue space up above the clouds. It's undisturbable, the peace we found in a bright blue space up above the clouds. That kind of all rolled off in one, where everything is understandable. You don't have to say anything too loud. It was like an idea of heaven. It was just peaceful, you know. Um, that came afterwards. I mean, we had a second verse when we first did the demo of the song, but it was kind of, it wasn't, it just wasn't as good, was it? Mm -hmm. It wasn't as good. I think it was something like, I've been in love, but I'm lonely now because I ain't no saint and I can't say no, wasn't it? Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving away. I'm giving, giving away. away I'm giving away too much here. <laughs> Nobody's ever. Yeah. Even done. <laughs> well, now you know. Yeah. <laughs> We went to a place called Zabriskie Point and Death Valley, Death Valley Junction in California. The place where you're walking, we're walking at the beginning of that video, I think it's, it's the same place where they shot the Joshua Tree cover, but we didn't realize that until years later. In the second verse of the video, there's this, there's this opera house and there was this woman who lived in New York. She was a dancer 
and she she said, I'm going to go and buy a theatre in the desert because it's so cheap and, I'm, and people are going to come and see me dance. So she bought this theatre in the desert. She sort of put posters up, she's going to be dancing and nobody came. So she just painted all these people on the wall and she'd do these performances every night to kind of a, an empty opera house. Lifted as a song can apply to a breakup situation. Lifted in a song can apply to a if you're not in a good mood situation. So it can apply to it can apply to emotional situations, mental situations, spiritual situations. Yeah. And so why not somebody else can catch it and sort of and interpret it in a political kind of way.